my shotgun rider. Say hi. Hey, hi, hello, you guys. Today, I figured I'd vlog because I have kind of some stuff to do. I don't know, it's also been a hot minute. Let me turn this off. Since I vlogged in my car. But I figured we would just start today. It's Monday. Um, it is 7 a.m. right now. I am with Herm right now at the vet. He's realizing this is in fact not the dog park and this is the vet. So we're waiting for the vet. Herman, oh, I should probably say why Herman's at the vet. Um, I hate talking about this. So Herman is at the vet because he has, they found some cancer in him. Um, so they removed the face mask. You can kind of see on the side of his face, the scar. They removed that about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So that's healed up nicely. And then they did, they have to, they just have to see if it's metastasized and if it's spread throughout his body, essentially. So today they're doing an ultrasound on his abdomen to see if it's spread in there. It's just stressful. It, like I literally just want to cry every time I think about it. Uh, I would also just want to say thank you to you guys for supporting me. Um, I do make money off of YouTube and it's honestly all, it goes all back into my channel and then into Herman. And as you guys know, I'm in school, so I pay out of state tuition as well. I, I know I get some comments about like sponsored content and stuff and the way I've, I've always viewed it is like I'm paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to go to school for an education and I'm essentially providing information to you all for free because I genuinely love it and I want to share what I'm learning and I, I want to help people and that's how I see it fit. So if I am able to work with a brand who I already love and I would recommend otherwise, like if they're, if we're, I'm going to work with them to do something that I would already do and make, you know, a little extra money that I can then support my dog and my tuition and just my daily life expenses. And I really don't see anything wrong with that. And I know I don't have to disclaim that, but um, I just, I, I've always say like, I would never recommend anything to you guys that I don't genuinely use or pay for, that I wouldn't pay for with my own money or have my mom pay for or my best friends. And so I just, I really want to thank you guys because I, YouTube has really been, it's been a way for me to be able to afford all this that's going on in Herman. And I never, I always think everything happens for a reason and, you know, timing is huge. Um, I mean, you guys know, how, you guys know Herm, like he's always been around. He's like the best thing that's ever happened. And it's just, it's been a lot and I just appreciate everyone's good thoughts and prayers and that's kind of where my head's at and I know I've been a little I've been I don't know I, I really try not to think about it I don't know if anyone has any tips or tricks or like ideas or any second opinions about the cancer it's like sarcoma and then a mast cells tumors so we've been giving him Benadryl twice a day with his food for the mast cells I guess that helps with spreading um so we've been doing that i'm not a vet i don't really know it but um if anyone knows any other tips or has ex had experience with this and just like comforting words you can either comment them down below or like dm me because i i need <laughs> i need some positive thoughts and prayers for our little man but yeah i know it's really random i'm just waiting for the vet to open honestly <laughs> And it's just been, it's been a, a tough couple of last month or so with all this news. It's been a tough year. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to share the rest of my day with you. I'm going to work out today, make some healthy meals. I got accepted into my internship. So I will start doing rotations in the hospitals starting in January. Um, I want to do a video more on that. I want to do a Q and A because I get a lot of questions about just not even my dietetic stuff, but just in general. And I want you guys to know a little bit more about me. And I feel like sometimes it's hard for me to just like 
brain dump, basically what I just did. But I would love to know what you guys want to know about me, and I want to feel more close, like closer to you guys. And I always feel like when creators that I love have Q and A's, and I'm able to ask them questions, and it just shows me more of who they are as a person and their personality. And I know that people have wanted to hear more about my dietetics, so let me know like specific questions about that. But then also like about my personal life, Herman, anything you want, I'll pick and choose which ones I feel comfortable sharing. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, I hope y'all are having a great day and I will check back in when I do something next. I'm gonna drop Herm off. So I got back from dropping off Herman at the vet and then I went to work for a little bit. Um, and now I'm back and then I'm gonna go work out at noon. So I'm making some iced coffee. I'm also really behind on my water. Don't mind that. But I'm, I've just been really into making a big pot of coffee the night before and then have putting it in the fridge and then just using it as iced coffee throughout the day. What? A big pot of Kool-Aid. A big pot of Kool-Aid. If you guys know that YouTube video, let me know down below. Hot Kool-Aid. So I just put some ice in this Yeti then some of this and some of this and then I'll do some liquid stevia as well because I like mine a little sweeter right now. I'm wearing my new Yelgers from Amazon. They're so cute and comfortable. I mean, I knew I would like them because they're the same as the black ones that I have. That noise is so satisfying. I got a new jug of almond milk. This is the unsweetened vanilla. Okay. I think this is my favorite. Almond milk. And yes, I add kind of a lot because a cup of this has 35% of calcium and I, I'm not always in the mood just for like straight black coffee. Um, yes, yeah, stevia. This is what I use just from Trader Joe's. Makes you feel like a chemist. Oop. Just do a squirt. Yeah, this workout. This is from Amazon. I love these pants. Usually, whatever I'm wearing is from Odds Are. It's from Amazon if it's athletic wear. Alright, we just shake her up. And there we go. Ask coffee. I'm gonna drink this on the balcony because I'm cold. Yeah, I used to be like a really big hot coffee fan, but that was also when I lived in Chicago and it's cold there. And now in Texas, it's very hot. So iced coffee just makes a little more sense, you know? All right, I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go do my workout at noon. I like to work out. I like the noon class. It's like a good break in my day. Got work done this morning and then we'll see. Hi. <laughs> okay, I just got done with a workout and I'm gonna make a wrap so carb balance just because these are high in fiber which we love and I'm gonna do some organic spring mix some cherry tomatoes just some deli turkey that's cracked black pepper I'm gonna use this as like the sauce kind of it's technically a dressing but it's really really good very flavorful if you like cilantro you'll like this if you don't like cilantro you definitely won't like this but they have a lot of other good flavors they have like a ranch uh, a Caesar, uh, blue cheese. They have a bunch. They're all yogurt based. They're really good. Um, then I'm gonna do some red bell pepper, some cucumber, onion. I'm not sure if I'll add pickles yet or not. We'll see. And then we're just snacking on some cherries and grapes right now, but I'm gonna cut up this apple tab on the side. And that's my post workout delish meal. Um, okay, so I put the this on this. Okay, I'm gonna cut some cucumber. Ours has a little cucumber condom on it, so we gotta cut that off. We don't want cucumber condoms in our breakfast wrap, in our lunch wraps. So I'm just gonna chop it. <laughs> In strips. This is not formal at all. I know some people don't like cucumber, so if you don't like cucumber, 
You don't have sweet cucumber. I love cucumber though. Anyway, no one asked. Anyway, put some raw onion in it. Yeah, I need like raw onion. Like this freak pterodactyl behind the camera. You don't have to put onion. Just like so. What? <laughs> Next, I'm just gonna have some of these cherry tomatoes. Um, sorry, I'm filming a video. Okay, wow. Whoa. Okay. It's coming together. I'm gonna put about, I don't know, like two or three pieces of turkey. This is your post workout proton. I don't eat a ton of deli meat, but it is convenient. I just, I crave it every once in a while. I don't know. So I go through phases. I go through phases with deli meat and also eggs. Anyone else? And salmon and red meat. Oh, and salmon. And every other food. Well, I'm back on salmon. Obviously got I'm back on salmon. Some red bell pepper. Then I'm just gonna top it off with a handful of this organic baby spring mix. This is a fat wrap for a tiny tortilla. And I'm not gonna have pickles because I don't, it's just, it's not. There's no room. All right, so here is, I'm gonna roll it up. Uh, I'm gonna try. I need like Chipotle rollers. They're really good at their job. Clearly. Yep. I don't work at Chipotle. All right. It's <laughs> a product. Stunning. I'm gonna cut this apple up on the side. Pick up this onion. Bada bing, bada boom, you know? I also just realized that this wrap doesn't really have this meal doesn't really have a fat source, so I'm gonna eat this apple with some peanut butter. I have to eat this like a taco, because it's a thick one. And I'm gonna sort of dip this in peanut butter as well. Okay, I'm gonna eat this, bye. You know that TikTok where it's like, don't do it girl, I'm not gonna do it. I did it, <laughs> that's me right now. Uh, as you guys know, I went to, I went to H-E-B, we did a huge grocery haul probably a week ago at this point. And we still have a ton of stuff from that, tr that trip. But if you know me, you know that I love Trader Joe's more than anything in this entire world. They have some new products that I wanted to try and they have things that I can't get at H-E-B. So whatever, we're gonna get into it. The most exciting product that I wanted to try, the main reason why I went was to try the Ahi, wait, <laughs> great start. Sesame crusted hardwood smoked ahi tuna wild caught. This is wild caught tuna. I, this is going to be the icing on top of my cake for my bootleg sushi. If you know, you know, usually I don't add any protein to it, um, but this is already smoked, already ready to go. I just know it's gonna taste amazing on my bootleg sushi and I'm gonna make that after. I finished filming this and I will post it to my Instagram with my thoughts, but also fun story. I got the last one of this. There was one hanging and yo girl, you got the last one. So it was obviously a sign, but yeah, I'm excited about that. And also I just got some more smoked salmon because I, you guys know I love to make my lox and bagel. I don't know what it's called, creation. I posted on my Instagram. I do a crisp bread with either avocado smeared or um, cream cheese, whipped cream cheese. And then I do some slice of smoked salmon, cucumber thinly sliced, onion, capers, and everything but the bagel seasoning. So I got another cucumber for that and for also for my bootleg sushi and also for our, all our salads that we eat. Another one of these, because I never want to be out. And then, I got the wild sockeye smoked salmon and then the everything bagel. Both are good. I just like to switch it up. So I have these three random fish in my in my fridge. We're gonna have a lot of fish this week. Okay, moving on. Oh, another new product is the unexpected cheddar shreds. A lot of you guys sent this to me on Instagram actually, because you guys know how I feel about the block of cheese of this cheese. It's phenomenal and the fact that they have shreds now is just game changing and um, Matt has been really into pastrami lately like he loves pastrami sandwiches and 
what is it called? Rubens, those kind of sandwiches. So I got him some of this uncured pastrami, no nitrates, no nitrites added. Just some pastrami meat. And then I also got him the sauerkraut from Trader Joe's as well. And then he's gonna put some of this on it. Toast it up on a crisp bread. You could do rye bread if you have that as well. And some Dijon mustard. Horseradish, oh, say less. I also got another one of these peppered raviolis. These are so good. And in our taste test, we said that we were gonna air fry them and let you know, and then we just ate them all without realizing it. So I got another one so we can air fry it and try, and I will update you guys on my Instagram. So follow me there. I also got another spicy kimchi because I love this stuff. We made kimchi fried rice with it. We've also, um, I've been eating it on just rice cakes. So it's like rice and kimchi, but just like a rice cake, you know, um, for quicker snacks. Um, but it's really, really good in some kimchi fried rice. You can do cauliflower rice or regular rice or a mix. It's your world. You make the choices here. Another new item that I got is the unsweetened dairy, non-dairy hemp beverage. So I love hemp seeds. It has like a nutty flavor. So I was very curious about trying this. Um, yeah. I don't know, I've never had hemp milk before, but I put this in, I put non-dairy milk in my smoothies and coffee, so I figured I'd give this a go. And I got another truffle Marcona almonds. I love these for cheese boards, but also just for snacking on. Um, another favorite from our first Trader Joe's taste test are these, what is this? The steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. These are amazing. We will have these as like a little appetizer if we make like the kimchi cauliflower fried rice or just like the Asian lettuce wraps, the P.F. Chang Asian lettuce wraps that I like to make. We'll just steam up one of these and there's six dumplings in each one. So we just get like three soup dumplings to start and it's just a nice little appetizer and it makes you feel like you're at a restaurant in quarantine. Um, like I said, I got another everything bagel seasoning, a cucumber, we just got some more minced garlic. Cause as much as I like to pretend that I use fresh garlic for everything, like I just, I don't want to cut it all the time. So I know if I have this, I'll be more likely to use it. We got some more just organic mango bars. The only ingredients are mango. They're delicious. If you have kiddos, they will love these. It tastes like there's added sugar and there's not. They're so good. Got another garlic dip. If you know, you know. Um, I actually got some DMs about this. People were like, how do you use it? because a lot of people think it's really garlicky just as a dip. Um, so we, we do eat it just as a dip, because Matt and I apparently are crazy for garlic. <laughs> but um, like I've shown before, we also like to use it as a base for like flatbreads that we make. So I got four of these cauliflower thins, and I'll just put one of these in the air fryer, or a couple in the air fryer, toast it up, and then I will do a schmear, a schmear, a smear, a schmear of this and then I'll just use some sauteed vegetables on top and it is delicioso, okay? On the pizzas, we also like to add some chicken sausage sometimes. We'll air fry one of these and make a pizza, okay? We also got some just more pre-cooked lentils like because we like to eat these together. It's so good. I don't know what it is about it. It just hits different. We got two more sliced black olives for our Greek salads that we eat every week i got a bag of apples for my apple nachos oh, i'm gonna make that i'm gonna make the bootleg sushi and the apple nachos today and tomorrow for sure it's been too long aka like four days um then i just got some more mashed cauliflower this is frozen we like to doctor this up use this as mashed potatoes so like I posted on my Instagram the other day, uh, the Trader Joe's peppercorn pork loin, we air fried that. And then we did, we just sauteed, put this in a pan, did some cauliflower, mashed cauliflower with the labna. It's basically tastes like sour cream. Um, but we also put cream cheese in it before. You can put garlic dip in it, spice it up, thicken it up. Greek yogurt as well. That works really well to thicken it up. And then just some spices and it really takes, you can really taste and make it taste like mashed cauliflower or mashed potatoes. And then we've got some more cauliflower gnocchi, air fry as well. And okay, well, that is all of the meals I got or all the groceries I got from Trader Joe's today. It wasn't a big haul. Like I said, we just went to HEB, so that's all of our vegetables and fresh produce and um, majority of 
our groceries, but then I just wanted to get some little things here and there that I can only get at Trader Joe's. And it just, it makes me happy going there. And if that's what makes you happy, then do what makes you happy. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this all away now. And I'm gonna make my bootleg sush and I will post it on my Instagram and what I think about this. Okay guys, I am trying something. I'm making my normal bootleg sush, which I've shown on the channel before, but I'm adding this sesame crusted hardwood smoked ahi tuna, wild caught, to them as well. So it's gonna be even closer to sushi. And I'm gonna try to do a reel on Instagram showing you how I do this also. So this is gonna be interesting. Essentially, like I've shown before, you just slice up the cucumber thin, then you do a dollop of either whipped cream or pff, cream cheese or avocado, depending on what you want. I do both just to mix it up. And then I do some jalapeno as well. You could do onion, whatever you want. And then I'm gonna do some of this, some pickled ginger, some wasabi, and then everything but the bagel seasoning. And then you dip it in soy sauce. Oh, you put a little dollop of uh, sriracha on top also. Show you what it looks like when I'm done. Wish me luck with this IGTV, whatever, reel. I'm trying to get back into Instagram, you guys. I'm trying, I'm trying, okay? All right, here are the final product. It looks so good. I added some sliced jalapenos on the top. That is what the tuna looks like. Hope y'all having a great day, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Oh. <laughs>